Hello again, grade one. Today we are taking lesson two. How can we change the way object move? Mom, can you please come give me a push? Come on, Noor. Learn how to push yourself. Huh? How can I get down from the swing and push myself? Well, of course my mom did not mean that I have to get down from the swing and push myself. She meant learn how to make the swing move. Learn how to move it by yourself. Moving an object needs force. If you want to move an object or make an object move, you need force. Force is the, is the ability of making an object move or stop moving. Force. This is our first vocab for today. How can we change the way objects move? How is pushing a swing like pulling a wagon? Pushing a swing or pulling a wagon are the same because both of them are forces. Forces means we can move an object or stop an object from moving. Forces. So the, the first vocab of today is force, the second vocab of today and the third vocab of today are two kinds of forces. The first one is push, the second one is pull. This girl is pushing a basketball towards the basket. She needs force to move the ball towards the basket. Push. This is the first kind of force. Push. And push means to move the object away from you. Push it away. Push means to move the object away from you. When you are playing this game, what kind of force are you using? Excellent! You remember we played th this one in the sport day. Pull. You are pulling the rope. Pull moves the object closer to you. Pull is another kind of force. Now here, the boy is pulling the wagon. The girl is pushing the wagon. I need you to draw two pictures. Draw yourself pushing something and draw yourself pulling something. Okay? Here I draw for you a boy who's pushing a box and here two men who are pulling the rope in full force. What makes the wagon move? The girl gives it a push and the push moves the object away from you. The boy gives the wagon a pull. A pull moves the object closer to you. Pushes and pulls are forces and the meaning of the word force to make an object move or stop moving. Force make an object move or stop moving. When the girl and the boy push and pull the wagon it starts to move. Where is the meaning of the word force? Well this is the word force. Where is the meaning? A force makes an object move or stop moving. Underline the meaning. Using force. We can use force for so many things like moving a ball or stopping a ball that is already moving or changing the direction of this ball or make it stop. Even I can push it to go faster. So I can use my force for so many things like changing speed or changing direction. Changing direction. Changing speed. How fast something is going or how slowly it's going. I can make it go faster or I can make it go slowly. I can also start moving the object or make it stop. So I have four things in this page. 
change direction, change speed, start moving, or stop moving. Write the numbers. Look at this picture. What's going to happen to the ball? She is using her foot to push the ball. So the ball is going to start moving. You can kick a ball to make it start moving or go faster or even change the direction. If it's coming to, from the right, I want to push it towards the goal. I'm going to send it to the left or send it forward. I'm going to change direction. You can catch a ball to stop it from moving. Because this ball was moving, but I wanted to stop it. So I'm going to catch it. Stop. I'm going to use force to stop the object from moving. Describe how the motion of the car changes. So here we have a story. Two rabbits are pushing their children down the hill. They are sitting in two cars. When they give them a push, the car starts moving. In number two, now they are going down the hill, the car is going to start moving faster. So the car moves faster. In number three, they reach down the hill, so the car is going to stop at the end.